The media fulfills four distinct and overlapping roles. The monitorial role, or watchdog, that gives a so-called objective account of reality and checks the powers that be. The facilitative role combines aspects of social responsibility and participation, supporting deliberation and diverse voices. The radical role focuses on the journalist as an agent for social change to raise popular consciousness of wrongdoing and inequality. The collaborative role points to an alignment with the political and economic elites. This is the guard dog, journalists as the protectors of establishment interests. This study demonstrates that, in the case of Jeremy Corbyn, the watchdog did become the guard dog and it argues that this poses serious ethical questions regarding the role of journalism in a democracy. During the period of analysis, more than half of all news articles were either negative or antagonistic towards Corbyn, and two-thirds of all opinion and editorials were negative or antagonistic in tone. As you'd expect, there's an ideological bias with the right-wing media being more acerbic and scornful, mocking gleefully and attacking Corbyn on a personal level. However, there is also a lot of negativity towards him in the left-wing press, considering him too left, unrealistic and unelectable. Part of this is the amplification of the civil war within Labour, where anti-Corbyn Labour sources tend to outweigh the pro-Corbyn Labour sources. Even in left-leaning newspapers, such as the Daily Mirror and the Independent, discrepancies can be observed. The most problematic result from the research is that the British media has actively set out to delegitimise the leader of the largest opposition party in the UK. This was done through scorn, ridicule and personal attacks but above all by strongly associating Corbyn with condoning terrorism and depicting him as a friend of the enemies of the UK. Almost 10% of the articles relating to Corbyn had a reference to Iran, Hamas, Hezbollah, IRA or terrorism in general. This was especially the case in the Daily Telegraph, the Daily Express and the Sun. Linked to this was the strong depiction of Corbyn as a danger, or his ideas as dangerous. Furthermore, in more than half of the articles on Corbyn, his own views are missing. However, when his views are reproduced, they are very often taken out of context and distorted. As a political transgressor, Corbyn must expect the dogs of the media to bare their teeth. But, if the guard dog's master is challenged or endangered by someone who won't play the game, that's when the guard dog becomes an attack dog. This is not merely a political issue, but an ethical and a democratic one. The attack dog delegitimates any voice that contests the neoliberal status quo, which is presented to us as common sense.